Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Tom Worth Jr. And today we're gonna talk about uh, an actual valid point that uh, I have come across with Trump voters. And I see it in the comments, but also just in daily life. Um, and oh, in comments, by the way, that reminds me, uh, I did have a comment from someone saying it's very obvious that I'm not seeing both sides. And that would, Im I mean, they're talking about, you know, I'm only coming at it, that I don't understand the, the Trumper side of things um, or the conservative side of things. That That is not the case. Uh, I very much see both sides. That's how I have spent my whole life on both sides. Um, also, I live in Texas. Uh, it is impossible to not see the Fox News conservative uh, side of things. And I say Fox News conservative as opposed to traditional, uh, the, what conservative used to mean. Um, I, I can't escape it, hard as I might try. Um, it, it's it's all over the place. It's with my oft-mentioned acquaintances, be they friends, uh, people I just meet in passing or we're at a place. Um, it's at a restaurant. It's at a lobby of a place. It's, it's on. Um, you can't get away from Fox News. Um, thankfully, uh, a lot of establishments are cluing into this over the last few years and it's usually sports that's on, if it's a time of day with sports on, or a day of the week with sports on. Um, but if it's not sports, it is Fox News. And I, I can't, that this is how um, I get, this is how I know what's going on and what what the propaganda machine is cranking out all the time. It, it, I'm just painfully aware of it and I can't escape it hard as I might try. Um, another commenter mentioned that I'm basically, I, I don't remember these exact comments, but this person was implying that I'm just as guilty of being MSNBC only as uh, the people that I kind of rail against for being Fox News centric. Um, that could not be further from the truth. I, I don't watch cable news voluntarily for the most part. If there's something specific going on that I want to be informed about, then I'm going to go search out information. I have never been one to just sit in front of the TV watching news shows all day. I'm not watching, I didn't watch Fox News during the day. I don't watch MSNBC or CNN, just sit there and have it rolling in my background. Um, if there's something going on, uh, I want some debate coverage, then sure, I'll put on an MSNBC or a CNN, but more likely I will Google and look at search results. I might read an article, I might look at a video with a segment that's covering that. I'm not just having MSNBC on my TV. Um, very targeted uh, as to where I look for my information sources. Um, I do see some New York Times, some Washington Post, uh, some Reuters, some AP. It just, you know, it's just a wide ranging uh, source of news. Um, just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, what I did want to talk about today was a point that Trump voters have that, that I completely concede. I cannot argue this, and, and I don't try uh, when I see it in the comments. Um, or in, in like, I'm not going to argue. And it go, I did a screenshot of a comment here because it's, it's often something like this. Uh, is a secure border reasonable? Is healthier food for our children unreasonable? Uh, sorry, is a secure border unreasonable? Healthier food for our children unreasonable? Wanting lower taxes unreasonable? No more wars unreasonable? Is wanting safer streets unreasonable? Please let me know which ones are unreasonable. Here's the key point, because these are the reasons I'm voting for him. Okay, I can't argue that. Um, I could argue all day, and in fact, I argue every day for about 15 minutes on this channel that none of that is true. None of those 
That, no, that's all, none of those are reasons to vote for him. But what I can't argue is that that is why this person is voting for Donald Trump. Um, that is why the commenter who said the, the most reasonable comment you'd ever read, except for the fact that he's talking about Donald Trump, he goes into these same sentiments and, and says, I just felt safer for those four years when Donald Trump was president. I can't change that. I can't argue what you have convinced yourself to watch all day and program your mind what to think with propaganda. Make no mistake, that's what it is. That's what they're good at. Um, I can't undo the feeling because it is a real feeling. You actually feel that. And I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing that you felt safer um, with, with Trump in office. I'm not arguing that you think those things are reasonable and you are voting for Trump for those things. Um, you got me. Like you absolutely feel like that. And I'm, I'm not arguing with that. That's, that's wrong. It's false. It, it, it is absolutely not based in any reality. Um, all you have to do is pick one of those issues. Like one of them was food safer for children. Okay. What did Joe Biden do for the last four years, three and a half years, to make food unsafe for children? In your mind, I'm talking in your mind, what did Donald Trump do for four years to make food safer for children? <laughs> and then what did Joe Biden do, and presumably Kamala Harris will keep doing, or do more, I don't know, to make food unsafe for children? Tell me, I don't know. I did miss that segment of Fox News or whatever, uh, you know, whatever right wing propaganda you're consuming. I, I don't know what that is, but uh, I can say it doesn't exist. I can say that. Uh, and, I, and I am saying that. Um, feeling safer. What's, and I'm not even talking about crime rate. I, I didn't fact check a crime rate here because it doesn't matter. Um, it could be less under Joe Biden. It could be more. But what is a crime rate? It's a statistic, right? What's a statistic? It is accumulating data for, in a large data set, if it's a reliable statistic, and then consolidating it into one point. It's called a, a, a data point. Um, and then you would look at the, those data points uh, over a period of time to see a trend. Um, I mean, these are what crime rates are. So are you, are you looking at a graph? Are you saying violent crime in the United States, I guess? I don't know, or, or in Texas, or in wherever you live. Um, or, okay, let's take it to, that's, that's too big. Obviously, we're not, obviously we know that would be completely irrelevant. What a crime rate is in the United States has nothing to do with your daily life in your neighborhood today. So let's look at your neighborhood. Maybe you live in Highland Park. That's a real ritzy neighborhood in Texas. Maybe you have uh, someone break into someone's car this morning um, and steal something. Okay, maybe that hasn't happened in three weeks. Well, guess what? Today, the crime rate went, up, went through the roof in Highland Park for violent crime, I guess. I don't know. Um, you can see how that is irrelevant to which president is in office, I hope. Um, it, it would have more to do, it doesn't even have a lot to do with your governor. It would have a lot to do maybe with your mayor, um, maybe with your chief of police, maybe with something at that, at that local level. Um, that's what determines crime rates. If you're telling me that a career district attorney, a prosecutor, um, in a place like Oakland, California, um, is not going to be as tough on crime as Donald Trump, who is a criminal himself and associates with criminals for his entire life and pardons criminals and promises to pardon criminals if they won't testify against him. If you're telling me that that guy is better for crime than Kamala Harris, 
I, again, I can't argue with you. I can't, I can't undo what has infected your mind that you submit to all day, every day for years on end. And I, that's why I concede this point to you. How you feel is absolutely true to you. And why you feel that way is because of what you're watching and what you're getting your, your quote information from. Um, and I can't change that. So, so I'm not going to try. Um, I just want you to know that I do see all the sides. Um, I agree with one of them. I, I vehemently disagree with the other. Um, and I, I invite you to see both sides. If you're watching this video, I know most of the commenters like that um, aren't even watching this video because I <laughs> there, was, there was a funny one about the Goldman Sachs, about uh, why, about Goldman Sachs, even Goldman Sachs says blah, blah, blah about the economy. Kamala Harris is going to be better for the economy than Donald Trump. It, a commenter says, wow, I didn't know that uh, you were so influenced by what a celebrity thinks. That this person thinks Goldman Sachs is not an investment bank, that it's a celebrity. It tells me he didn't watch the, or they didn't watch the video. Um, and I think most of these comments are driven by the title of the video. That's fine. Like I said, I don't typically respond to the, to really almost any of them. I do read a lot of them. Um, so it, at least at least we're out here. At least the views are going up, the subscribers are going up. Um, that's great. I, I thank everyone for that. Um, it, we're just out here and we're talking about it um, and we we see what we're up against um, and we do all that we can so uh, that's 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 what that's what we're here for we are here for for civil discourse um, I see a lot of people in my comments that have don't want anything to do with talking to a Trump voter or or anything like that. Like the less said, the better in their minds. That's fine. Um, whatever you want to do is fine. Um, I, I think the way, uh, whether it's now or whether it's a year from now or 10 years from now, I think eventually we'll get back to talking to each other again. Um, I guess we're not there yet. <laughs> that's understandable too. Um, that's, that's just what I'm hoping we get back to. In the meantime, I will continue uh, involuntarily seeing both sides, um, and and I will continue to hope that some of you can can check out reality every now and then, um, rather than what Fox News is trying to scare you about. Because if you are feeling unsafe right now, versus feeling safe. With Trump in office, the only reason you're feeling unsafe about, say, the border is because of what you're watching on Fox News or some other right-wing propaganda arm. Um, these were the talking points brought up by RT Russia Today. This is what they paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to right-wing propagandist broadcasters to broadcast. Uh, these are Russian uh, talking points trying to divide the country. Um, if you want to believe that, they're really good at it. I understand why you believe that. But sitting here in Arlington, Texas, on just a beautiful, sunny Saturday afternoon, there's my neighbors right across the street, walking their dog. Um, I could not feel more safe. I, I just absolutely could not. Um, and I'm also not watching Fox News today. Um, I, I advise you to, to reconsider what you're programming your mind with uh, and maybe mix something else in because you're obviously sitting there terrified of something that you ought not be terrified of. Uh, and that's, that's my hope. Uh, that's it for today. And um, I'm actually in a great mood. My, my team won today uh, up in Ann Arbor. And I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. We've got the, uh, I got a lot to look forward to this fall. And, and I hope you're here with me to share some of it. And we'll talk later.